Hello, my name is Jonathan Turnley. I'm a third year PhD student in Professor Rakesh Agarwal's Solar Energy Research Group in the Davidson School of Chemical Engineering at Purdue University. And today I'm at the PV Ag Electric Experimental Farm. The work that goes on here is a collaboration between researchers in chemical engineering, electrical engineering, agronomy, agricultural and biological engineering, and agricultural economics. And together, we seek to develop sustainable solutions to society's food, energy, and water needs. Specifically at this research site, we're looking at the dual usage of land for both agricultural production and energy production. Over the past decade, solar energy technologies have improved remarkably, both increasing in efficiency and decreasing in cost. However, one big challenge for solar energy is that it takes a lot of land to generate the necessary quantities of energy. The largest consumer of land in the United States is agriculture. So we're seeing the emergence of a future competition over land between solar energy production and agricultural production. Unless we can develop some sort of disruptive technology that allows for the integration of solar energy into agriculture. That line of thinking led to the emergence of the PV Ag electric system. As you can see behind me, we're using elevated solar panels, also called photovoltaics or PV panels, which are raised by support structures well above the crops beneath. And by raising the panels, we allow for plenty of space for normal farming operations. This system allows for agricultural production, in this case we're growing corn, and energy production through the use of the PV panels in the same land, hence the name, the PV Ag Electric System. There are still some challenges for this system, in particular um, because both the solar panels and the crops need sunlight. You can imagine that if the solar panels lead to too much shading on the crops, this could lead to unfortunate yield losses. Researchers in our group are studying this problem and have developed really intricate models to better understand the light distribution within the system. Additionally, we've spent the past two summers collecting crop growth data from over 1,500 individual plants. We hope to use this information together to uh, better understand the interrelationships within our system. And from there, we want to optimize our system to maximize the total output of both food and energy and to guide the future of this transformative technology. Thank you for watching this virtual tour. Um, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the sustainable food, energy, and water research going on at Purdue University. If you want to learn more about this work or learn how you can join this research group, please visit engineering.purdue.edu forward slash NRT.